Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Wonder Boy and Monster World. Apologies for the small break. Uh, kind of got ill, kind of out of my control, but either way, we're back once again. What did we do last time? I think we went to the underwater temple, spoke to the big man Poseidon himself, and uh, got ourselves some oasis boots and told that uh, we need to go to the Mogham Desert, I think it was. So I'm going to travel through the beach because I prefer the music and setting much more than the dungeon tunnel, in my opinion. It's way more colorful. Ow. <laughs> Plus, I can destroy everything in one hit anyway, up here or down there, so I suppose it doesn't matter. But this is much more tropical and a lot more annoying, apparently, because I can't hit anything today. It's been a little while since I've, uh, since I've got back in the groove. Last time I recorded all those episodes in one big go, but... This time I'm gonna have to remember how to play. Not like it's that hard though, to be fair, because I mean this game never changes as I go and it's very simple in its gimmick, so I suppose it's just that I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing or I wanna rush, which is very, very plausible because that happens a lot. Even in games like Sonic, I, I get impatient and I rush around and I mess up, so. Either way, the next part of the game used to uh, be very... I, I remember having a very confusing time with it <laughs> for a while because I was the guy that uh, could have sworn that I've gone through this desert before and been fine. And I don't understand why it's doing what it's doing, and I'll show you what it's doing when we get there. Also, I actually believe that we can buy something else. The trident is no longer our most strongest weapon, providing we have enough money for it because... This store should be open! Yes! Okay. So this is going to be like... Hmm... Let me guess... 3,200. It's Excalibur. 2,500! No! But I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Why did I think it was 3,200? A steel shield. 2,000? Oh, I'm so close. Now, this shop is actually quite teasing. Excalibur! So, this shop is quite teasing because as you can see there, there's a door and ladder there, but if we go down, there is no door and or ladder to be seen. At least, not yet. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Thought maybe he had a new potion or something, but I guess not. I forget if these guys say anything different. I suppose it doesn't matter that much. Do I actually have the Oasis boots on? Uh, let's have a look. No. That's fine, actually, because I want to show you what happens. I also want to stay in the inn just to reset my checkpoint here because the return spell, it was the last place you slept in and not the most recent visited one, I guess. So that makes sense. And we'll want it as close to the desert as possible. So that's fine. Okay. Let us go over this way. This is actually an area we could have gone to earlier, but we decided not to. The desert. Now, this sign warns you. Uh, Morgham doesn't enter at your own risk. Because if you don't enter with the Oasis boots, you're going to start taking damage. <laughs> I've already taken a half a heart. So the Oasis boots allow you to walk on the hot sands without taking any damage. And I guess it does allow you to walk a bit faster anyway, which is nice. Now this place can suck. But yeah, when I was younger, I swear I came here and I was like, ah, oh, but I'm not taking, or like I am taking damage now. I don't get it. Why am I taking damage? Because I was the guy that I mentioned before. Oh, wow. Does that foreshadow, like, the pyramid in the background? Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that touch. Ha! Huh. Well, I mean, I might have, but I never really put two and two together. <laughs> Sometimes little things go unnoticed. But, yeah, I was like, why am I taking damage? And then I, I realized, like, oh, I forgot to pick up the boots. And that was like, it took a long time. Whoop! Oh, this is my life now. Okay. That <laughs> Just falling forever. This is the life of, of Shion, the Wonder Boy. But this area is actually very important to go to because it gives us some very useful abilities. Or at least a very useful ability. I don't remember if there's more than just the one thing. I think there's some money you can get in here. So I guess we can get the shield when we need to. Yeah, there we go. Bit of money. And a few hearts, that's alright. Or a heart, that's not too bad, really. Only a hundred gold away from getting that shield. Not that I feel like I need it, but... I guess you never know. Depends how much of a completion I, I want to do. Eh. See, you can block the fireball, but... Ow! Fuck! 
I never actually got a response from anyone, so I don't know if anyone knows about the fact that shields might play into the amount of attack, or the, rather the amount of defense you have in terms of receiving damage, or if it's just like a slightly bigger hitbox or something. I don't really know the benefits of shields. It's the one thing that always kind of eluded me. So we just got Quake Magic. Quake Magic is like Thunder Magic, except it's way more powerful, but can only hit things on the floor. So if something is flying, like these bats, these, uh, the, the Quake won't affect it. Uh, okay, so now we also have to kill these guys because these guys, ah, <laughs> oh wow, I got, that was a swoop attack. God, he came down from way up high. Uh, these guys are actually spawning the platforms when they die, so we need to kill them. Also want the money. Ah, the money is mine. Two gold, worth. Worth every penny, mate. They're a bit off in their sink, so we gotta make sure that we jump on them at the same, at the right time. Now, it is important to note about the uh, damage over time of the Oasis area. Because, oh yeah, now we're closer. That's really clever. Oh wow. It's actually really important to note that you take damage over time in this area because when you come back, poor boy, poor boy, because you will be coming back and you won't have the Oasis boots on and I'll tell you more about that when we get to it. So this is another area we can go. It's right beside the pyramid. The pyramid is right to our right, but we want to go down here first because there's quite a few things in here. I actually think there's a very necessary item down here now I think about it. Yeah. There's no secrets around, not that I remember. I always used to think, oh, maybe there's hidden doors and stuff. But then again, this, this game made me paranoid as hell, so... Let's walk in here. Oh! We're actually inside the pyramid right now, but we're in an area where... You can have a little look around, but there's not a whole lot to do. Uh, right now, there's just some dudes you can kill to get, like, a rough idea. You can see a chest just about there, a rope. Can't get in here at any, at any time, so... I don't actually know the purpose of this area. It just kind of exists. All right, we need to put on the, not the Gradius. Uh, we need to put on the Trident, there we go. Down we go. So a little bit of swimming is needed. Out, just to get something that's quite important to our mission. Now I could technically speed up things by using Quake Magic, I didn't think about that actually. Ah, whoa, oh God. And some spikes. Ugh. But this is a very important item that we need. The sun key. The hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> now this allows us to get inside the pyramid, because otherwise it would have been locked. Quake magic. Oh, look how much damage. That was one hit. Ow. That was a good shot. Not gonna lie. Props to you. Ha! There we go. So now, oh, can't do it while I'm in the water. Silly me. That'd be weird. All right, let me put on Excalibur again. Now, what I could do is go back and get the shield. Um, and I think it looks cool. If I remember right, it's like all silver or all, go all gray, I guess. Um, but it looks good. It's got like rivets on it. It looks cool. But then again, we might want to save it for, we might want to save the money for the next area. Oh no, that's right. Yeah, of course. The doors don't even appear unless you've got the keys. So this door wouldn't be here. It'd be like a, a flat wall, and you'd be like, oh, "How do I get in?" All right, let's uh, let's have a little look around. We got a little ghost man. Uh, far from little, but he's, he's a little ghost man. Wants to come and play. He's uh he's a bit of a pain because he'll he'll run into you and slowly drain your hearts away. Ah, chest. We can get that later, but as for now, we just have to deal with these guys. So be be aggressive with these guys because they can come into you drain your life away they also run away from your sword so you do have to have good timing or else you're not really gonna hit them very easily huh <laughs> okay so there's nothing over there either I knew that but I wanted to show you around so you could see actually since we're inside the uh, pyramid almost said temple I uh, whatever it's close enough we can actually not wear the Oasis boots so now we can climb ladders real fast which we need to because these guys are gonna start shooting us, and it's way easier to uh, <laughs> to do it this way. Also, I did confirm something in the uh, the temple. That's more of a temple, actually, in Lilypad. Uh, that one chest with the big heart was actually going to be an elixir, but I was right. When you already have an elixir, it just fully heals you. 
So, or at least gives you a big heart. So that's that's really useful. I don't remember if there's anything else. Now, there is a gimmick to these mummy guys, by the way. If you don't kill them quick enough, let me see. They explode into knives. Except another one spawned in its, uh, in its place, so you didn't really get to see it. But anything around here? No, doesn't seem it. Oh, yeah, that guy respawned, though. But now I'm pressing these to lower the bridges, or the doors, I guess, down. Hey, hey. Ah! Damn it, he still got a hit off. And I didn't collect this coin, what am I doing? I think this is also an elixir, but again, because it's a full heart. Probably because I already had one. Jumping seems to be a very good way of closing in on uh, on these guys. So, try doing that a few times. Ah, uh. So this boss, the boss of this area is going to be a pain for me because I always mix up some of these, some of these things. And it's, it's a uh, interesting boss. I won't spoil quite what it is yet, but it's, it's an interesting boss. I'm just saying like, you have to, you have to know a bit about the game. Ow. Cause if you don't, then you might be, uh, you might be uh, a bit unlucky on this and it can, it can kill you. I think it has an instant kill, so. Definitely want to pay attention. Now, one of the things that I did not know was how the fuck to get that chest. Like, years and years, I ne that was the one thing that always eluded me. Guess what? Door right here. Like, and this is the most important chest in the entire game, by the way. Seriously, you wait until you see what comes out of this thing. This is so good. Fire magic. Quake. Thunder. Power. Shield! It gives you one of everything! Like, that's amazing! So now we have nine Firestorm uses, six Quake, six Thunder, four Shields, although I'm not, I'm not really worried about that, and the most important power, power. <laughs> power actually doubles your damage, which is insanely good. Like, it's ridiculous how powerful that is. That's fantastic. So I'm really glad we got that. I'm really glad I figured out how to do that. So this bit sucks dick. Uh, <laughs> these guys are just going to explode, so I might as well leave them to do their own thing. Head! Uh, uh, this bit always... I sucked so hard at this bit when I was younger. Because <laughs> I was bad at the timing of the of the of these guys and the, the wall, the, the ceiling, sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I love knives just flying off this from the soft the screen. From soft the screen. And then we've got these dudes, which just play like the white knight that we uh the silver knight, whatever knight we we killed to save the the princess. We just have to kill their feet. Alright guys. I'm gonna stop this one here. I know it's a little early, but uh I'm actually, uh, I'm actually gonna do this one in a separate video, um, because I'm gonna cheat and fucking save state, and if I get all the questions wrong, I'm gonna reload. I'm just gonna be honest, okay, look, <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? So, I'll, I'll see you next time, <laughs> hope you enjoyed, throw us a like if you did, take care, okay, thanks, bye. Come on!